Today we are going to discuss the Rhodes Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer a genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is likely very old, belonged to the de Rhodes of Brabant, which is in Belgium. There was Arnold de Rode, alive in the year 1107, who was son of Roloff de Rode. Whether or not they had anything to do with this coat of arms, I am not sure. Next, Rhodes of France. We have a family who lived in France. They were originally from Spain. Alexander de Rhodes, born 1591, was a French Jesuit priest who we see here, who developed the first phonetic transcription of the Vietnamese language. He descended from a family of Aragonese origin. His family, Jewish silk merchants, fled the Inquisition and took refuge in France in the 15th century. They were lords of Ariac, Baltazar de Rhodes, and Bartholomew de Rhodes. Now over to the United Kingdom. First, we have the Rhodes Baronetcy of Barlborough in the county of Derbyshire, a title in the Baronetage of England created in 1641 for Sir Francis Rhodes of Barlborough Hall near Chesterfield. He was the son of Sir John Rhodes, born 1562, and the grandson of Sir John Rhodes, born 1530, an English judge who took part in the trial of Mary, Queen of Scots, and purchased the Manor of Hanley and built the family seat of Barlborough Hall. He was the son of John Rhodes of Staveley Woodthorpe, Derbyshire, a sheriff of said county, a descendant of Gerard de Rhodes, a 12th century baron. Here we see a list of the baronets through the fourth baronet who died in 1743. Baronetcy was essentially a hereditary knighthood that passed from father to eldest son. Here we see Barlborough Hall in modern day. Similar coat of arms for Rhodes of Great Horton in County Yorkshire. The family descended from Sir Godfrey Rhodes of Great Houghton, the second son of Sir Francis Rhodes, who inherited the manors of Darfield and Great Houghton from his father. His son, Sir Edward Rhodes, born 1599, served as Sheriff of Yorkshire and was Colonel of Horse under Oliver Cromwell, was a member of Cromwell's Privy Council. He served as High Sheriff of Perthshire and Yorkshire and represented Perth in Parliament, had sons John and Peter. Another from Bel Air in Chapwick, County Devonshire, George Ambrose Rhodes, Esquire of Bel Air and Chapwick, and John Henry Rhodes live in the year 1814, commander in the Royal Navy, sons of George Rhodes, Esquire of Exeter College, vicar of Coley, Shute and Moncton, Devonshire, grandsons of George Rhodes of Modbury, and they ultimately descended from John Rhodes of Horbury, Yorkshire. Next, the arms of Edward Rhodes, who died in 1866 of Old Woodhouse in Up, Lyme, County Devonshire. Here we see Old Woodhouse. Next, the Rhodes family of New Zealand and Kip Hicks in Yorkshire, England. Coat of arms granted in 1865 to the Honorable William Barnard Rhodes of Wellington, New Zealand, born around the year 1807. He was a member of parliament there and a senior representative of the Rhodes of Capex or Kypex. His two brothers were also in New Zealand, Robert Heaton Rhodes and Joseph Rhodes, sons of William Rhodes, a wealthy tenant farmer born in Yorkshire. And here's their estate in New Zealand called the Grange. Next, the coat of arms of William Rhodes of Sky. Sky Ketz and New Halifax, County Yorkshire, granted in the year 1585. One from Nairsborough, Yorkshire. Abraham Rhodes was vicar of Nairsborough, 
He died around the year 1642. Later, there was Richard Rhodes, Esquire, and Gregory Rhodes, Esquire, who died in the 18th century. Rhodes of Little Eden, near Peterley in County Durham, England. All I was able to find on this one was there was a Robert Rhodes, alive in the year 1430, who married Joan, daughter of Walter Hawk. Another Rhodes coat of arms, this one featuring an anchor. Wasn't able to find the armature on this one. It looks relatively modern. Some possibilities. Um, one person we already mentioned, so likely not him. John Henry Rhodes, born 1788, commander in the Royal Navy. Uh, Thomas Rhodes, a member of Parliament for Hastings in the 16th century. He may have been the Thomas Rhodes of the Guard, who was 12 years a captain of a ship named the Mary Fortune. And there was Thomas Rhodes, who appeared in July 1533 at the Brotherhood of the Sinkey Ports as Chamberlain for Winchelsea. But again, these are just guesses, and I, I'm not confident in any of them. If you have any uh, guesses, let us know in the, in the comments. Another I wasn't able to find the blazon for. It was granted to Timothy Rhodes, born 1751, a cloth exporter, and Matthew Rhodes, 1751 and died in 1802. They were merchants, sons of William Rhodes of Badstown, a dyer in Leeds. Another for Road or Rhodes of Rushton James in County Staffordshire, England. William Rode, born around the year 1606, was son of William Road, grandson of Ralph Rode, and the great-grandson of William Rode of Rushton James. Similar coat of arms for Rhodes or Rode of England. Wasn't able to find the armager for this one, but the crest is an eagle displayed holding in the dexter claw a dagger proper. Another for Rhodes, Argent, a sinkyfoil pierced sable. One for Rhodes, Argent, two quatrefoil slip verd chief sable. Another for Rhodes of Cheshire, Randall Rhodes, alive in the year 1580, was son of Thomas Rhodes and the grandson of Thomas Rhodes, a descendant of Richard Rhodes who himself descended from Robert Rode. William D. Rhodes in the 13th century. Over to France. Urbain D. Rhodes, Lord of de la Bousseri, son of Yves D. Rhodes, a knight, and he was also the father of Pierre. Yves D. Rhodes, Yves Rhodes, bailiff of the Counts, or County of Savoy in the year 1414. Rhodes, Lords of Ariac, family from the 17th century. Rhodes of Languedoc, Languedoc and Picardy, Lords of de Beloy. Another Rhodes, Lords of Mount Boulay. Rhodes of Romarenton, Longville, Montbolin, and Holtend. There was a Valerian de Rhodes, alive in the year 1696, Lord of Longueville. Another for Zacharias de Rhodes. I'm sorry, Zachary de Rhodes. Here, Rhodes, who was an aide major at the Citadel of Perpignan. Jean de Rhodes of Casting, Lord of Espen Seuss, a lawyer living in Marvy Giles. Looks like he had a daughter who married in 1713. Rhodes of Belgium. All I have noted here was a question. Was this Jean Rhodes, Lord of Ingle Munster, who signed letters dated March 1298, recording a treaty between Guy, Count of Flanders, and Jan, Count of Holland? And Rhodes van Glebke from Brussels. I have here, was this J. Rhodes, alive in the year 1504, alderman of the city of Brussels? And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.